I said, who are you? My name is Angel. Which of the twelve is Angel? Why did you come to fellowship dressed like this? You have no right to question my mode of dressing. <laughs> My rent today. Today. Hmm? You must pay me my rent today. Today. Baba. 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 It appears the boy has some problems. If he has problems, let him go back to the village and ask questions. He must have to pay me my money today. Nobody has said that he will not pay rent. All we are saying is that you should give him some time. Huh? This public embarrassment is not good for him. Nobody will have to tell me how to run my own house or how to treat my tenants. Even you, Jumai. He is the only one owing me. That has not paid rent in this compound. Please forgive me. Oh. Oh. It's just that. It's obvious he doesn't have it now. But Baba, I think if you can give him just today, you will be able to come up with something. Today? Yes, Baba, today. Yes, Baba. Today? Yes, Baba. Today, Baba. I'll pack your load out oh, if you don't pay me today. Just today. Out of this compound. If you don't pay more than today, mm. Baba, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see what I'm doing. It's okay. It's okay. But make sure you stay strong. It's okay. Yes, you
Why have you forsaken me? Why? Tell me. Am I not serving you diligently this world? Am I not serving you diligently? Why have you left me for the devil to devour me? God, why? Why? This is too much. It is not worth living anymore. Not at all. My life, my life is in shambles. It is not worth living anymore, God. My boy, which of my boys? Michael, sir. Michael, over. That reminds me. I have not seen that boy for the past one year. Is he alright? Okay, he's not alright. Things are so bad for him now. He can't even eat. <laughs> Is that so? Yes, sir. But he has not come to me for with any complaint. Okay, you know your boy now. He's a very shy person. And now, Born again? Yes, sir. That boy was one of my the most honest and loyal boys I used to have. In fact, turn this vehicle, let's go and see him. I want to see him now. Sir? I said turn this vehicle and go and show me his house. I want to see him. Alright, sir. Turn, turn, turn. You know his house, eh? Yes, sir. Joseph of Aramathia was a very rich man, yet he was a friend of Jesus. Job was a very rich man, yet he was a righteous man. Pastor. Put your hands together for <laughs> Are you a friend of Jesus? Yes, sir. Brother uh, Bobby, you're welcome. Thank you very much. So, why are you in for fellowship today? So I had some very important meeting. So Pastor, I don't think I need to say it. I am sorry about it. Look, brother, there's no excuses for going to hell. God gave you the business you are doing. So you should make up time to worship him. Okay. That said, our topic of today, because 
concerns all of you. Like Brother Juma said, it is not a sin to be rich. But the question is, how did you become rich? What you do with the riches? Of course. What do riches do with you? Now, uh, let us open our Bibles to Jeremiah chapter 17, 11. The Bible says, He that getteth riches not by right shall live them in the midst of his day, and at the end shall be a fool. And the word of God also said in 1 Timothy 6, 9 and 10, that he that will be rich do fall into temptation, traps, and many evil and foolish lusts. The love of money is the root of all evil. What about those of us that God has blessed with wealth? What becomes of us? What do we do? Thank you, brother. As long as you made your money in a clean and rightful way, as the Bible says, and do what God says you should do, in the book of 1 Timothy 6, 17 to 19, brethren, much word, good works, that the Lord Almighty has blessed each and every one of you here with a distinct talent. And God expects you to use that talent to put happiness in the lives of the homeless and to preach the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mark the word, charity, giving freely to everybody, to the widows, orphanage homes, and to all not minding their race, color, and ethnicity. And if you do this, the God, who is rich in blessing, will reward you over and above your expectation in life. Why won't you let me die? What am I doing on this earth? What am I doing on this earth? My parents suffered. They all suffered. I'm dying in poverty. Despite my struggle in life to make it, much like my mates, case is even worse than that of my parents. I am not the one, God, who said we should seek your kingdom first, and every other thing will be added unto us. Come on, seeking your kingdom, do not even add in anything to my life. Right now, I see is poverty, pain, sorrow, every my breath, my heart spent. God, you are the one who in my life. Please, please, leave me. I want to die. Let me die. Let me leave this world. Let me leave this world. That's the only reason why I should be here anymore. Okay. Okay. Good day. You're welcome. Yeah. Please, I'm here to see one young man that lives in this compound. His name is uh, Michael. Michael? Yes. Wow. Check him inside. He just came back from fishing. Thank you very much. Uh, Jude, sir, call him for me. Uh, Oga, if you know that young man, please tell him to pay my rent. He's a trader. I don't know why he has refused to pay my rent. So he's owing you? Yes. He's owing you. Don't worry yourself. Eh? Let me just see him. He will pay you. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't have any problem. Let me see. Okay. I promise today. <laughs> Uh -huh. Where is he? Okay. His door is locked. Please. I'll be knocking, but there is no answer. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Maybe he's sleeping. How can he be sleeping by this time of the day? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Jumai, where is Michael? Baba, Shabi, he went into his room after he finished talking with him. He must be inside. Okay, check him through the window. Eh? Okay. Check him and see what he's doing. Check him through the window. So, see. That's your man, as I told you. He's only me, not here. Not even me. Not here.
I am actually running late for a very important mission. I was just passing by, so I decided to give you the teller for the one million naira I promised in church last Sunday. I paid into the church account. Brother Bobby, thank you very much. Don't mention Pastor. <sighs> May the Almighty Lord, who we serve, replenish your purse a million fold. Amen. In Jesus Christ, then. Amen. <sighs> you see. You have been a strong pillar to this church. Without you, we wouldn't have been able to complete some of the soul winning projects that we embarked upon in this great church. Thank you very much. Pastor, I must say I'm sincerely flattered. But you see, you taught me that whatever I have today was given to me by God to serve Him. So it would be very unfair of me not to give back to God. That which he has given to me. It's okay. That is why I've always prayed that God will continue to bless you abundantly. Amen. My brother, did you remember the story of Jesus Christ in Luke 17 that spans 12 to 19? Yes, yes, sir. Then Jesus Christ healed him at the same as you right? He was the only one that came back to bless you. No, Christ commented on this. Look, my brother, continue in your goodness and in due season. The Lord Almighty, who we serve, will enrich you accordingly. Amen. Amen, Pastor. Pastor, I have to run along. So soon? Yes, Pastor. Honestly, I have to go. The meeting is very important and I'm actually running behind schedule. May the Lord be your strength. All right, be your strength. Amen. See you and know how you are faring. Sorry. Um, Doc, how far? As you can see, Chief, um, that the danger is not yet over. We have tried uh, to see if we could be able to flush out the poison in his system. But it appears that there uh, are some residues right in his power. So. He has to be here for at least one week while we monitor his progress. Okay. Doc, you've tried for us so much. God bless you. <sighs> Thank you very much. Doctor, can I be of help here? How do you mean, Prophet? 
And do you believe in power of prayer and uh, faith healing? Yes, of course. I'm not a pagan. Well, um, you can go ahead and pray for him. But meanwhile, uh, I think I have to return to my office. Um, thank you, Doctor. Thank you, thank you very uh, much. I will see you on my way out. Okay, thank you. My beloved, do you believe that God can heal you? No. My God cannot forsake you. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, O oh King of glory, I bless your name. Abba Father, I worship you. I come against every protection in this body. I come against you in the name of Jesus. Come out. Lose us for us. Come in the name of Jesus. Come out. Masukere. Lapunde Kuraba. Recover Sandraba. Masuke, la punta de bocura, rebo, bo, 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 masuke, cama, every protection, I come and you, lose us, oh, cama, cama, in the name of Jesus, hear it, bo, 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 manifest your power, in the name of Jesus, 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 Hallelujah! Oh, I thank you, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. I want my son to prosper. I want him to make money like his mates. Carry me in his car. Buy me beautiful wrappers like other women. Why is she one now? Why are you being out of the to the task. Whatever it will take, I will do it. You will come on a camera market day with your son at midnight. Then, he will be told what it will require for him to be rich. Hmm? Thank you, Nina. Okay. I will bring you. All right. Yeah, baby, what happened? 
Spiritual father, prophet, please, I beg you, tell me what to do. Son, there's no confusion here. It is an evidence that the Lord has called you. So continue in his vengeance and be steadfast, and all other things shall be added unto thee. Eh? Uh, you remember what Apostle Paul told his spiritual son, Timothy? That's exactly what I'm going to tell you now. Let's go to the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2. Um, the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 2, says, Take the teachings that you heard me proclaiming in the presence of many witnesses and entrust them to reliable people who will be able to teach others also. You hear? Yes, Prophet. Third John chapter 2 says, My dear friend, I pray that everything may go well with you and that you may be in good health as I know you are well in the spirit. Let me share a secret with you. There's no better place than the lost vineyard to achieve fame and be very rich. I now commission you to go in peace. The Lord will be with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come, let me show you something. Come, let us go. Jesus, like you be your God. Jesus, like you be your God. All of that God, that's so sorry. God, you all know me, and how the devil will destroy my life some more today. But my God has got something rich, and that is why you see me here today. Somebody shout hallelujah. See the room that I've been choosing to serve the Lord. That was why he tried to disgrace me, or destroy me, to pull me down by asking me to take poison and kill myself. But today, the good Lord has given in Jesus' name. I said the good Lord has saved in Jesus' name. That's in God. I said that's in God that's saved me. That brings me to a good place. My brothers, my fellow traders, listen to me. God has sent his agents into our midst. To tell you of the destiny, not of destiny, our destinies are wrong. Of people in this market. But today, my God is going to disgrace them in Jesus' name. I said, the woman will have to disgrace them in Jesus' name. 
You mean that he's a called man of God or what? Now you didn't speak grammar. The point is that this man, Daddy Michael, has recruited all the boys in the market, head hosted by all our evil masters. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did you just call him Daddy Michael? Daddy Michael. That is what everybody is calling him. That small boy? Watch your mouth. <laughs> Forget your beer beer. Not be by age, you. 
It's by miracles, by signs and wonders, waiting people they see. Please, I'm going to see him. I mean, what for? Why would I want to see Daddy Mike? I never even invite you. I said I am going to see him. But what do you call him again? Daddy Michael or whatever? Okay, you know how long I've been with my master. I've been with him all these years and he doesn't want to set me free. You get it? But when this man they broke, but when I saw this man, guy, now me they give him cheese to take chop. I was the one lending him money. Now look at us all, I'm looking on no fake. Look at what's the cheese. So what I'm doing is I am taking my case to him. <laughs> she better come with me. You can like say, you can like say, get sense for that already. My point, man, you know, be one. Come with me. Daddy Michael will cheat. Okay, but let's be okay. I'm going to see Daddy Michael. It's high time my boss said to sleep. You better come with me, or I'll leave you. You go to that market, old. Our ancestors. We thank you all for making us see this brand new day. May we find that which we will eat, but may that which will eat us never find us. He say, he say, Papa, 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 what type of dirty doctor are you? No, tell me, what type of dirty doctor are you, Papa? Oh, okay. Are you mad? Why you place all this important early morning greeting without your stupid question? Eh? Okay. May all the gods led by Ibn Ubabe strike you with all killing what we see if you don't greet me this moment. Oh, oh, oh okay, Papa good. Papa, good morning. Look at you. But Papa, please tell me. You claim to be a powerful native doctor. Helping others to make money. Just look at me loafing around in the village. At times I wonder if I'm your son. Okay. This is too early in the morning to banter watch with you. Besides, I'm still communing with the gods. Good. Be careful. Good. If truly those gods can hear you. Papa, tell them to give me money. Otherwise, one day, one day, I, Okoye, Mwikiragaba, will take you to a more powerful native doctor. They will use you for money to trust. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. I've been warning you, trust me. Gada baby, why is your face like that? I could you. Me? How did I offend my princess? Take me to America after my SSC exams. No, no, I'm trying. You're not saying anything about it. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> How do you think I can ever forget the promise I made to my princess, my angel, most beautiful? Uncle, you're deceiving me. You're deceiving me. Ah. All right. Come and sit down. Come and sit here. <laughs> All right. Now, what if I tell you that we'll be leaving for the United States of America, Los Angeles to be precise, by first week of September? Are you serious? Thank you. 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 I don't have enough time. Seven I... days? Oh yeah. Oh no. I don't think I have the whole time in the world. My oh, business no. will suffer. No. No. Uh, alternatively, I said you want me to leave you with Uncle Igwe. <laughs> I can't wait to see Uncle Igwe. <laughs> you stay with them maybe after one month. You know You're a darling. <laughs> now I am a darling. Before you were doing your thing, now I am a darling. <laughs> no. Ego, have you heard of the latest man of God? You mean that Michael? Yes. Ah. Who has not heard about him? They say he's performing miracles. Yes. That is what I hear too. I'm thinking of going to see him. And what? My husband now. Eh? You have not heard. He left me and moved in with another woman. Jesus Christ. I'm telling you. 
Ego, you know what? Just go straight on your knee and pray to God. I don't trust this sharp, sharp man of God. Though. On the contrary, I need this sharp, sharp man of God now more than ever. Ego, you make us now walk bush. Anyway, the choice is yours. So I must go. This one is killing us, so... No, it's not possible. It's not your portion. <laughs> it can't kill you. What hey. is the matter? Any problem? Bobby, you can't imagine what we are going through right now. You see, the money you gave my wife last time was used to buy goods for a sale. Now, my wife is not feeling fine. House rent has expired. I don't know. Everything is just going so bad for us. That's okay. Ada! Ada is Yes, Uncle! Please come. Is there no nothing apart from this? I don't know. What's this one? Ada is it. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my daughter. You are looking so fine. <laughs> Uncle Bob is really looking after you. <laughs> That is a big girl now. I can see it. Okay, you call me. Yes, please go to the room and get my checkbook. Okay. Look at my drawer. Okay. Bring the one of Zenith. No, 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 no. Um, spring, spring back. Okay. Good. Hey, look how these children are growing these days like they are eating fertilizer. Very soon now. <laughs> Somebody will come to ask for a hand in marriage. <laughs> That's our prayers. That's what the person wants. <laughs> <laughs> She said I should greet you. Mm, yeah. High school. School is fine. I said that. I hope you are at least 400,000 can take care of some of those things. Oh, it will take care of my problems. to return to your master. Doubt him no more. In two weeks from today, he will say to you and you will become your own master. Do you understand? Uh, Daddy, ju just like that. Do you believe in my God? <sighs> yes, Daddy, I believe in God, but... You know me. Doubt no more. Just go back to him. Two weeks, I say. It will not act by one day. Do you understand? Uh, thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Bless you. Bless you. And um, you, Chris? Yes, Daddy. What do you desire? Uh, uh, Daddy, Daddy, I, I desire to join you. Huh? I, I desire to be one of your disciples. <laughs> the Foxes have holes. Bears of the air have their nest. But I'll tell you, my brother, the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Nevertheless, be it unto you according to your desire. Does that mean that you've accepted my request?
All right, Chris, um, you get a seat so that I can sit while they talk with me. Thank you very much, sir. Hey, go. I want you to go back home. I want you to return to your husband. I want you to treat him well. Obey your husband. You're a very disobedient wife. Very disobedient wife. But I'm asking you, hey, go. Are you ready? to respect and obey your husband. Yes, Daddy. But he stopped loving me, so I started wrong. disobeying him. I said wrong. You caused it. You made him to stop loving you. You know, how could you be comparing your husband with your rich brothers? You know, if you, are, if you wanted to marry someone, someone as rich as your brothers, you would have married one of your brothers as well. Do you understand? So I want you to go back home and I assure you within the next 48 hours your husband will be returned to you and his love will become yours. Do you understand? No, Daddy. Please do something. That woman will not allow him to come back. I've told you. You have to return home. Remember what the Bible says that a woman should reverend her husband. I want you to go home, reverend your husband, and in the name of Jesus Christ, his love will return to you. Daddy, I don't know what the problem is. Things have not just been going on well for me for some time now. I don't know. Chief, you caused it. Yes, you did cost it. You know, you played into your enemy's hands and I struck you so greatly. What did I do, Pastor? Chief, you heard a dedication part of the child, didn't you? And to show up, you invited everybody, both your, well, both your enemies, well wishes. I'll tell you. And at the end of the party, someone picked the corks of the bottle of drinks you gave them, put the corks in a bottle, covered it, and buried it in your compound. I'll tell you, you know, with this singular act, you can never celebrate anything good. It's a bet hey. in your compound. I'm finished. Dad. I... What shall I do now? What shall I do? Well, I will tell you, you did the right thing, you know, by coming to me on time. If not, it would have been worse than this. Please. What do you want me to do? Um, it's okay. As a matter of God, I promise to help you save the situation. You know, you have to take me to your house so that I can conduct a very serious household deliverance. Do you understand? Very important. Daddy, I'll be very pleased if you do it, as you have just said. I, I, when do you... I'm ready any time. Uh, what about tomorrow? <laughs> Chief, I must tell you, I like your zeal. I like your zeal. Tomorrow is perfect. Okay? Tomorrow is perfect. Chief, I see blood. Blood? Yes. Blood, 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 blood. Blood all over your face. On my face. I see blood. I want you to take this hanky and wipe your face. Wipe 
on your face. With the power of God vested in me, I command you to be consumed in Jesus' name. Amen. Elohim Kippur! Elohim Kippur! Elohim Kippur! <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. 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 sinned against you and God and against God. Please forgive me. I was actually under a spell. Please, my love. Please. Don't forget the popular saying, to err is human, to forgive is divine. Please, my love. It's okay, Please. my love. It's okay. Please, I'm the one that's supposed to be apologizing. I promise, I promise I'll never disrespect you again. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm sorry. And dig this spot. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the revelation. I thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord of mercy, sing that Baba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Dig this spot. Dig it. Dig it out. The Lord dance, Jared, by fire. The Lord dance, Jared, by fire. My main reason for summoning this meeting is because of the decline in membership in this church. It is actually disturbing to me. Elder, you're right. Um, I've also noticed that recently 
most of our members no longer come to church services. The reason why is what I don't understand. Pastor, what do you have to say? Because if it means nothing to you, it means a whole lot of things to me as a person. I really care. I've also noticed the declining in membership of this church. I'm wondering why this is so. You don't need to wonder any further. Have you not heard of the new pastor in town? That young man started his church barely a few months ago. And now his church is growing very, very fast. Yeah. Actually, the rate at which that church is growing is amazing. I heard uh, he performs ground shattering miracles. Then why are we not performing miracles here in our own church so that we can retain our members? Miracles? Yes. Sleeping and waking up the next morning. Is that not a miracle? It is a miracle, Pastor. You see, a lot of miracles abound in our daily lives for which we should be thankful to the Almighty. I know. But I mean performing miracles, the type this young man performs that has sustained the increasing membership of his church. <sighs> Brethren, we are Christians who are supposed to be following the Lord of this earth. Jesus Christ first preached salvation. The word of God says in Matthew 6.33 that seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added unto you. All other things which shall be added unto you includes the miracles in your life. Which must come only after you have sought first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Seeing is the cause of every sickness that makes you look for a miracle cure to remove in your life. Take the example of a young girl who refuses to listen to the preaching not to commit fornication. When she contracts HIV, she begins to run around looking for a miracle cure. Or if she destroys her womb through incessant abortion, she begins to run around looking for a miracle child. How can it work? You see, even in Luke, there is provision for miracles. That's exactly what I'm saying. Elder Timothy, it is not every miracle that comes according to the will of God. And if a miracle does not come according to the will of God, then it is magic. Brother, do you want? Okay. Brethren, what do you have to say? Well, as for me, a pastor should be performing miracles. Yes! That is what is in vogue right now. Well, I beg to differ a little. I do not agree that our pastors just jump in and start performing miracles simply because other people are performing miracles. No! Let us not forget what is written in the book of Exodus 23 verse 2. It says, Thou shalt not join the multitude to do evil. That is an Old Testament you are quoting. We are in the new covenant of Christ. Understand that. Now, what about Matthew 5, 17 to 20? What does it say? Good. It says, I did not come to destroy the law or the prophets. I came to fulfill. He said, heaven and earth shall pass away, but none of these laws, not even a little of these laws, shall pass without being fulfilled. So if Jesus has come not to destroy, it simply means that these laws must be fulfilled by you or any other person. Otherwise, or you become Jesus sin. started miracles. And that's oh, okay. Please, 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 it's okay. Brethren, it's okay. Brethren, it's okay. It's okay. For God's sake. We are in the presence of the Lord. We don't have to turn here into a place of argument. Brother Bobby, let 
let this matter die for now. That's all right. Elder Timothy, please, let this issue of miracle stop for now. And let us concentrate in saving souls for the Lord. Did you all enjoy the seven days program? Yes, sir. If you enjoyed it, I want you to shout hallelujah. Hallelujah! I said if you enjoy it, I want you to shout hallelujah. Hallelujah! Good. You know, people keep saying that we preach prosperity all the time. Prosperity, prosperity all the time. We talk about money and how to make it in life. But I want you to tell them that the book of Ecclesiastes 10, 19 says that money ends at all things. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah! I can't hear. I said somebody shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! Is there anyone here that is having problems, difficulties in life, financial problems, or anyone as an obstacle to your success in life? I want you to write that person's name, the nature of the problem. Write it in a piece of paper. Bring it out here in the altar of the Lord. Drop it in one of these coffins. Then you understand the kind of God we are serving. Yeah. anybody by the name Nicholas. Nicholas, my Lord says that you are to work with me in his vineyard. destiny. 
I have this belief that somebody is responsible for my not progressing. Oh, God. Nobody can try the destiny of the son of Agamedo. Nobody can do it. Nobody can try it. I sold electronics. Nowhere. I sold motor spray pass. Oh. Papa, I got into smuggling. For where? If not for God, I would have been in the prison by now. Papa, I joined my mate to travel outside country. Obodo Ibo. At least to come back with hard currency. But they deported me. Is that not how I started staying in this village? Well, is that just all? Yes. Only 40 situations. Four. I know. Four. Do I have to tell you? Minasa. I'm going to answer. I passed through before becoming what I am today. What? This is the, this must not be. Okay, Okori. Okay, tell me now. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Papa, I want you to help me. I know you can do it. But if you decide not to, I will remain in this village. Maybe one day I will turn an assistant uh, native doctor. <laughs> but God help you. I will do small, small incantation. If they listen to me, I will tell the ghost what to do to you. Hey boy, Trust me, I will do it. Do, do what? I will tell the ghost to do something to you. I will run, Ganya. Hey, up here. Try it. I will try it. Try it. Up here. I will run, Ganya. Then do something. Hey, boy, Ganya. Okay. Okay. Go on. Try it. That reminds me. Don't okay. get You no longer come to church. You're right. I no longer come to the church. I hope there's no problem. You see, I will not lie to you. I can't continue coming to a church where no miracle happens. I can't. Year in, year out, no miracle. So what am I doing there? Uh, you, you, come, my sister. Uh, you, how, you must realize that all this miracle, miracle, miracle something is getting so alarming. Eh? Everybody goes to church now looking for one miracle or the other. You uh, see, see, it, it, it is not right. Eh? Most of these churches that perform these miracles, they are not good churches. Eh? On the contrary, it is in these kind of churches that you get real men of God. Is that so? I'm telling you. Ah. Eh, no. Okay, well, the choice is yours. After all, salvation is personal. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I have to be going nicely. Ah, yeah. Okay. Oh. Accept my duties to your family. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Good night, eh? Daddy Michael, you are unarguably a true man of God. In fact, your prophecy to me came to pass undiluted. I'm happy about that. God is using you. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Praise be to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Anyway, Daddy Mike, I'm not a man of too many words. Yes, ways. of course. I huh? Follow me. Come with me. You mean I should? Follow me. These are the keys for this car. Just to help you go about and do the work of oh God very well. Chief, God bless you. Take it, have it. Take it, have oh, it. Chief, thank you so much. Oh my God, I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. But oh my God, what is this? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You mean only bought this house for me? Yes. But you don't spread things. <laughs> yes, my sister. You see how God answers prayers. He uses people to change people's life. Yeah. Okay. So you are now a proud owner of a house and a car. Yes. I am now a landlady. Uh -huh. No more landlords for Hala or Kutenas for us. Just help me thank God for him. And ask God in prayer to, to, to keep increasing his pocket. I will do so. Get my sister. Will your husband remain like this? What do you mean? So without Bobby, your husband is not there.
This Bobby is the Bobby that has been helping us back, monetary wise. Is he not my, young, my husband's younger brother? Yes, he is. <laughs> what about if he marries? What will happen? Or don't you think that if he marries that too, the wife will not allow him to help you people again, then you people are gone? What do you mean by that? If he says he loves you, that uh, uh, Bobby or what do you call it, says he loves you people, why can't you establish something for you people, something meaningful for you people to be doing? This is the one that has been helping us now. Yes, helping you by depending on him. Kate, I want you to go and look for what is wrong with your husband. Go away. Look for what? Look. Okay, we, we, are, we are Christians. We don't go to such kind of places. Hey, you've seen a figure. People go out to look for what is wrong with them without going to native doctors. There are great men of God that are there to help you people, help people out. Eh? And you're here, eating from Bobby, without asking yourself, what is that Bobby doing? Do you know how God makes his money? How come it's only him that buys car, buys this, buys this, buys that for you? Your husband's hand is tied. He cannot buy something. He cannot even feed you people. He cannot do anything. And you're here looking at me. You're happy, eating, enjoying, without asking yourself something. My dear, wake up. They don't know any. I'm afraid of these rich young boys. How they make their money these days. I'm so much afraid of them. I don't know. Anyway, let's forget about Ruby and how he made this money. Um, what else should I do to help him? Apart from what, what, what have I not done to help him? I've done everything. Um, I'll be going to my spiritual father on Thursday. Thank you, baby. How are you? Ego, I'm fine. Please sit down. What is making you cry? Crying? No, I'm not crying. I'm fine. You are crying. Look at your eyes. Red and swollen. Did your husband beat you? Did he ask you to back out of his house? No. But he been neglecting me lately. His relatives are making life miserable for me. Is it my fault that I don't have a child? Am I God that gives children? You are not God. But you seem to forget that heaven helps those who help themselves. Ego, I've been to every place. I've been to everywhere possible. I've drank every concussion, drink heaven. I've eaten everything edible. I've been to places I shouldn't have been. All in a bid to have a child with my husband. But yet, to no avail. Yes. Simply because you have not been to the one place you should have been. And where is it? You know all that my husband was doing and how he ran away with another woman? Of course I do. Who did you think brought him back to me? I'm listening. Daddy Michael, of course. I went to complain to him. He simply asked me to go home. That within 48 hours that my husband will be home. The next day he came back on his knees begging for me to forgive him. In fact, as I speak with you now, his love for me has doubled and things have picked up in my home. You don't mean it. I am telling you, girl. <sighs> but I'm a Catholic. And so what if you're Catholic? Maybe when he throws you out for another woman, then your eyes will open. I don't need to waste time in telling you that a young your husband has been living in bondage right inside your house. You know, you actually thought you're living in heaven. But little did you know you're living in hell. Man of God, my husband's brother has been a very good brother. 
So also was Judas Iscariot. But he sold Jesus for tattered pieces of silver. What am I going to do then? We have to conduct a household deliverance. Very important. Mm -hmm. You have to do that. Because your husband's younger brother is a very smart man. With all the money that has been given to you, the family and your husband actually belongs to you. Huh? Yes. You know, he's doing those things so that your husband, his brother, remain his servant. My husband. We have to do something. And I believe the good Lord I'm serving will surely set it right in your family. In Jesus' name. Amen. That's right. But your husband has to be here. He must be here. Do you understand? You bring my husband here. Yes. Because this is a household deliverance. And we have to be here, or else the situation will be worse than this. That is it. Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome. You said what you said. Yes. My friend will be coming with her husband. Yes. 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 Thank you, my friend. Yes. You are the same. I know your husband belongs to you. Oh, Daddy Michael. He loves and worships me now more than ever before. In fact, we are happily married once again. Oh, Thank you very much. You're welcome. I can see you brought your friend in the kitchen, whose husband has been maltreating her because she can't give him a child. Be happy. Because you're not barren. You're not barren. You're not barren. Oh! Infidelity. Infidelity. Your husband is involved in a start marital affair. My husband? Yes. A young lady has seized his fertility. My husband. My Lord, the God I'm serving will release him. Amen. The God I'm serving will release him. But you have to bring him here. Do you understand what I'm saying? Man of God, I have a problem. My husband will never agree to come here with me. Mentioning this to him alone is enough for him to send me back I don't think he... Mm. Not to worry. I'll help you. I'll take it away. You take this. Rub it at your lower region before you make note. And after that, if you do as I say, the fire of the Holy Ghost drive him to this place. I'm greeting you. Is anything the matter? How is my brother? And is anything the matter? Which brother? Which brother? The one that you have rubbished and destroyed and brought to nothing. Bobby, your greeting is like a curse to me. A cultic man. Blood of Jesus. Uh, blood, blood of Jesus. What did I do? All your clandestine activities have been exposed by the blood of Jesus. Mr. Kate, may God forgive you. It is you that needs forgiveness. You and that your faith pastor that calls himself a man of God. God will forgive you. Faith pastor without miracle. The whole village now knows that you and your faith pastor are the ones that have reduced my husband to nothing and used him for rituals. Uh, but Sister Kate, I, I don't know where you got all these things from. But I ask God to forgive you for your utterances. It is you that needs to ask for forgiveness. I have told you. 
Go and ask for forgiveness. And let me warn you. If anything happens to my daughter, Bobby, I will never forgive you. Satanic, demonic, occultic ritualists. Eh? Watch your bobo. Abarima. The blood of Jesus will destroy you. Abarima, come! Occultic man! Ritualist! Look at him! God, what kind of strange feeling is this I'm having since today? I just hope my uncle is safe wherever he is. God, please protect him for me. I will let to the nation. You lead us in prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. But I'll bring my daddy before you to guide and protect him as he goes to work and bring him back safely in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, please protect my uncle from every aspect and keep him away from all dangers. For your word said that if two or more should gather in your name, but whatever we ask, it shall be done to us. Jesus! 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 Father, we are asking for our daddy's protection in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus! 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 Mrs. Carol Hineze, you are greatly blessed. Amen. You are blessed indeed. I'm not surprised because the noble Sal is the husband of widows. Thank you, my God. Man of God, mm. how did you know my name and that I'm a widow? There's nothing my God does not reveal to me. There's nothing he does not reveal to me. I need to tell you the truth. So many things are happening in your house. So many people are striving to get you and your son that lives in you. They are trying to pull you people down. Oh my God. Oh my God. The only thing that is saving you and your son who lives in Europe is the kind of spirit you have. And I pray that they shall never succeed in Jesus' name. Amen. They will never get to people in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus. You Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Man of God, I'm amazed and truly convinced that you're a real man of God. Otherwise, how can you know all these things about me? I've never told you. That is how my God works. So, my don't tell me what can I do for you? Man of God, yes. I want protection for my son. Uh, I don't want anything bad to happen to my son in Europe. Uh, that means you have to bring him here so that I can show him what's and what's you know best to read in the Bible. How can I do that, my daddy Michael? He's far away in Europe. Mm, that's no problem. You can actually stand in for him. Huh? Come with me. Anywhere he sees us, and he's been potent enough to protect.
protect us in whatever we do. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Now, according to my Bible, his hands are not too short or his eyes too feeble to see us. Amen? Amen. Yes. So, I will advise you, you have to bring your son's picture and, um, and that will be enough. But you, you need to sow you know, a people seed, just like um, Abraham did in Rex to Isaac. And I assure you, this will make your request granted by God. And it's going to make us see the world why. So I suggest you do this. Do you understand? I understand. Why that in my case? I will make available to you a chip of 250,000 as a seed. Hey, I like that. That's great. You know, you, you, you've seen to sow a seed. You know, like the widow of Zerifat. And like the other widow who put in her widow's mind. And with this singular act, you've won God's heart. Amen. And I assure you, it's going to bless you. It's going to protect you. Amen. You'll do everything for you. Amen. So I have to give you some passages to read. In the Bible, you have to do this. Midnight. Three weeks. Okay. And I assure you, if you do as I say, the good Lord will always see your son true. No evil shall be for him in Jesus' name. Amen. Alright, so, okay. Alright, let me just give it to you now. Don't forget, midnight, okay? Sorry, sir. Are you the father of this child? How do you know about the child? There's nothing my Lord does not reveal to me. Your Lord should have revealed to you that I am taking my dead son to the mortuary and I wouldn't want to be disturbed. Chief Reuben, the son is not dead. What? The son is sleeping. How do you know my name? I'm the one that called Daddy Michael. Daddy Michael? I'm the man of God. Romans 14 verse 8, if we live, we live to the Lord, and when we die, we die to the Lord. Therefore, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's, for Jehovah gives and he takes. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We pray that you should give this family the fortitude to bend this ill pile of us. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord of mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the wonder walking name of our Lord Jesus. But the Lord of mercy, I present your son before you. I present your son before you. I know that this boy is sleeping. I know that this boy is sleeping. With the power of God vested to me, I command you to rise in Jesus' name. Rise in Jesus' name. Rise in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Elohim, keep on. Elohim, keep on. Elohim, keep on. Talita Kume. Talita Kume. Rise in the mighty name of Jesus. Rise. Arise, arise, your soul, your body, your spirit. I say, arise. I command you, arise, 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 arise. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ramsey, Ramsey. Okay, is that gift? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Julia. Darling. Hey, oh, Junior. What? Oh, what? None of this was. Junior. This is the man of hey. God. 
that brought our son back to life. Thank you, Master. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor. Father, you are blessed. Hey, Junior. The people of God call me Daddy Mike. Thank you, Daddy Mike. You're welcome. Honey, please. Junior is very hungry. Quickly, give Junior some food. Please do. Thank you so much. Daddy Michael, yes. meet Pastor Bakari, the pastor of the church where I worship. Pastor, meet Daddy Michael, the great man of God. God used him, the man that raised my son from the dead. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Yes. Good. Okay. Oh, um, Chief Ruben, yeah. I think I'll be pastor, rushing back. There. Thank you. Pastor, thank you. I'll get back to you, Pastor. Yeah. Daddy Michael, you are highly welcome. Welcome to my home. Please welcome to my home. <laughs> the rest of that. But bury the living. What's the matter with you, Kitchen? Why are you jumping from one place to another? What's wrong with you? What's wrong have I done now? Seeking to find a, a, a solution to a problem. Mm? Solution? Where? In a church. Not in a native doctor's house. Now, let me tell you. You seem not to understand that most of these pastors are worse than native doctors. By the way, why didn't you go to our parish place? Because this man is not just ordinary man. He's a powerful man of God. Very powerful. And um, what did you call his name? Daddy Michael. Now, listen, and listen very good I am not stepping out of this house with you to see any man of God. I know you're no longer interested. How can you be interested when you have all the girls you need outside your matrimonial house? Now you don't care if I give you a child or not. Because you've chosen a concubine that will give you a baby outside. You are trying. But it's only my God that will judge you. I've been a faithful wife to you. All I'm begging you is to come and is to come and help me have a child. A child of my own. Which is the bread of every married woman. But you refuse. Go! Go so that I meet your concubines. But my God will surely judge you. You hear me? My God will judge you. Wicked man. That was how God saved my life today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What would I have said? Eh? Our God. Is... Hey! Yes. People were yeah. staring at me when I was praising God on the road. Mm -hmm. Wondering what saved my life and what would have been a fatal accident. Mm -hmm. It was like a magic. It is not magic, my dear. It is my God at work. My God will never allow my enemies to laugh at me. That never! Jesus. Oh, Thank you. Hey, shut up. Get away from me. Live here. Get away from here. What is it? You are not drinking this water. I will get you another one. Why? I suspect that girl of foul play. Foul play? Yes. Woman, stop accusing this girl unnecessarily. She has done nothing against you. Stop it. You are a man. You don't stay at home. So you don't know what I see in this house every day. Spare me this time. Mama, what kind of problem is this? Brother, for the word of God says in Matthew 7, 13 to 15, beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, looking like the real thing. But inside, they are wolves. The Bible was also how to identify them. Verse 13 says, Wide is the road that leads to destruction, and many people are finding it. This means that when the church starts today, and by next week, everybody is beginning to run into it. Brethren, for wide is the road, and people are running towards it. So be careful. In 2 Timothy 3, 1-6, the Bible explains in details 
the workings of this Antichrist. And in 2 Corinthians 11, 13 to 15, the Bible says, For many so called men of God today are satanic agents, presenting themselves as ministers of righteousness. Let's go back to Matthew 24, verses 4, 5. Us, us to make sure that no one deceives us. For many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ. And shall deceive many. Do you want to be among the deceived? Here. Sister Hilda. This is exactly what the pastor just preached about. So why do you want to let the devil tempt you like this? It's not a matter of the devil tempting you now. Hmm? This surpass is always preaching about salvation, salvation, salvation every day. Is this salvation a way? Hey. Hilda. Be careful, oh. Be careful, be careful. And see, this man is just using this salvation preaching to start up from knowing what's happening outside. When the miracles are going on in other churches, are you not tired of this children of Israel preaching every day? You may be, but I am not. This miracle you talk about, in whose name are they being performed? And by which power? Hilda, don't go and sell your soul to the devil because of miracles. Come on, I've told you, God does miracles for us every day. And if I, for one, need anything extraordinary from God, all I have to do is uh, come my knees and pray with fasting. God will hear me. He must. That's man performing that miracle. How many heads does he have? The man is among them. Well, they are not. That's the difference. If you carry sin in your heart and your mind, God will not answer your prayers. So, stay away from sin and then ask anything. Because he said in the book of Matthew 21 verse 22, in all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing that ye shall receive. Which useless man of God told you that my own brother tied our lock and is using it? That Michael is not a useless man of God and you know it. You know it! Eh? He's a very powerful man of God. In fact, he even asked that you should come and see him. Huh? Yes! yes. If you were not my lawful wedded wife, I would have asked God to strike you, to punish you. May that God punish you ten times a day. Has it gotten to that? May that God punish you ten times a day. Useless man. What do you mean? Kate, has it gotten to that? Yes, it has gotten to that. Just, just mention that again and you will tell me you and I who is marrying each other. Whether you are marrying me or I am marrying you. We will find out who is marrying each other. Yes! Ah, ah. What is it? L listen, if you don't follow me to go and see him, I will bring him here, he will come and see you. By fire by force! You must see daddy! You must see daddy! This water you are raising, you will, you will drown in it. You are the one raising water. And the water, whether it is hot water or cold water, you are the one that will enter it. If you enter hot water, it will fill your body. If you enter cold water, well, by the grace of God, it will soften your heart. But you must see daddy. Daddy Michael. Hey! Daddy, daddy. Oh! In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the wonder walking name, of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, I present your children to you today. Baba King of Mercy, you are the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and El Shaddai. Anything the evil ones has planted, anything the evil ones are doing to pull your children back, Heavenly Father, I destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. King of Mercy, you promise in your word that none should be barren in the land. Heavenly Father, stand on down toward it. And declare your church fruitful in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 
I say I declare fruitful in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Okay, you can rise. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you, Pastor. It's okay. Alright. Bless you. Bless you. Mrs. Eze. Good morning, Are you okay? Please sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Why are you standing? Daddy Michael, I just came to sow a little seed with a car parked outside. I believe it will be more useful to the church. That's why I say you are blessed. You know, you've done well. You've done well. And tell me, how is your son? He's very well. Okay. Hope you've uh, told him about the prayer sections we've been making on his behalf. No, Daddy, I've not told uh -huh. him yet. You are failing there. You must let him know. He needs to know about Daddy Michael. Do you understand? It's a must, okay? I'll do so, my Daddy Michael. I have to take my leave. No problems, no problems. It's okay. Oh, daughter of God. Bless you. Bless you. It's all right. Okay, don't worry. Let's go out together so I can see the car. Okay, okay. Let's pray for you as well. Okay, all right. to question my mode of birth. Come on, Jesus, no. 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 Come on, Jesus, no.